Hello ladies, how are you today? So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys my first impressions on the new Maybelline Super Better Skin, Super Stay Better Skin Foundation that looks like this and also the concealer. You guys are going to hear my thoughts as I am applying it and also I'm going to go ahead and wear it for a few hours and give, come back and give you guys my conclusion about it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you on my next one. Bye! The shade that I'm using is 50 Natural Beige. Um, I already went ahead and um, primed my face with Rad Mattifier and the Benefit Professional. And then we're going to go ahead and use our Beauty Blender. I really like the fact that it has a pump. It's just really helpful. And it has a one fluid ounce. And it has a SPF 15. And we're going to go ahead and put some on our neck. This is at least medium coverage and I like how it looks. I just don't want it to be too cakey. And let me just zoom you in. I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of that, about this foundation. The use of this, it helps prevent sunburn because it does have um, titanium dioxide sunscreen, which is broad spectrum of SPF 15. And it has uh, Actyl C oil free. So the directions is to basically you're going to shake well before you use and apply 15 minutes before sun exposure. I believe this foundation is mainly for um, for you to get protected from the sun. And then it says reapply at least every two hours. So this foundation is not mainly uh, for all day wear, and it's not a um, it's not gonna be a full coverage just because it is mainly um, made for you know for you to be out in the sun. Because the fact that it tells you to reapply every two hours, it's not gonna be a long lasting foundation. And um, it's I feel like the name is a little bit uh, deceiving because it says Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Foundation. So Super stay, I believe for me, it would say that it would last a long time, but the fact that they're telling you to reapply every two hours, um, maybe if if you are at the sun in the sun for that long, that's why they're telling you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and test this out throughout the day just to see if, if I should be reapplying it every two hours, if I'm getting oily, if it lasts a long time. So that's the reason why I wanted to test this out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the concealer. Concealer color that I got is the color Light Medium. Benefits of the concealer is basically a target dark circles, spots, and imperfections. It basically says it's 2-in-1 targeted concealer plus corrector with Actyl C, an ingredient known for its antioxidant benefits. It's going to provide an all-day flawless correction, visibly reduces the look of dark circles, spots, and imperfections for better looking skin in just three weeks. Okay, so this is how the concealer applies. Um, it is not full coverage concealer, but I'm going to go ahead and set this. I'm going to go ahead and set um, the foundation and I'm going to use the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. Looks like this. I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so this is how the foundation and the concealer look. Um, from first impressions, honestly, this color did not match what I thought it did. I feel like it looks a little too pink. You guys can see right here. I'm more of an olive um, undertone and this is really pinky for me so I kind of look a little pink right now. I don't like it. The concealer, I honestly, like I use the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light palette and you guys know I love that thing. I always use it like it's like the only thing that I touch 
and um, I feel like it looks a little cakey right here so I didn't like that about the concealer because I my concealers don't really look like that so I'm gonna go ahead and test it out for a few hours just to see how it holds up and I will let you guys know my final thoughts about it so right now it is 11 47 a.m. and I'm gonna go do some errands and I will be back with you guys in a few hours bye hey ladies so I am back um so this is how the foundation looks after about three hours I definitely don't need to reapply anything it's still not broken down but a lot of my blush and my contour is kind of fading out and it usually doesn't happen um, with any other foundation. Definitely extremely um, oily, so this is not going to be friendly for oily girls. So probably about half an hour after I applied, I noticed that um, my pores were showing a little more than usual. Because once I use a Benefit Professional, my pores, you know, are a little bit less visible. And I feel like this product just brought up brought them up more and I didn't like how it looked the concealer I liked how it did cover um you know the imperfections in my under my eyes but what I didn't like is that when I set it it basically kind of caked up in these corners right here I don't know if you can see it when it's up close like the product is just like sitting right here and um, that usually doesn't happen with my Urban Decay um, concealer. In my opinion, I feel like this foundation and concealer is not worth it. It didn't work for me. Again, I have extreme, extremely oily face, so it didn't work for me. And I really don't see the purpose of this foundation because it says that it's super stay better skin, but it has SPF 15. But in the instructions, it tells you to reapply every 15 minutes. I don't, I mean, I know it's going to cover your imperfections while you're still protecting, you know, yourself from the sun. But the BB creams do the same thing. They usually have SPF. Um, you can also just wear SPF under your foundation that you're already using. You don't have to reapply so often. So that's the reason why I don't see the purpose of it. But um, I honestly don't think these two are worth it. Um, if you have tried it and it's worked for you. Please let me know, but if it didn't. It did not work out for me. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all this makeup, and I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.